Well, we're in Ottawa. We're going to be doing some POV street photography with a 35 to 150 and the Sony a7 IV to see what we can capture since I haven't been here in about, I don't know, seven or eight years. So let's get to it. Yeah. It's cool, the building over there. Gotta keep on walking. So you gotta keep on walking. All right. Well, welcome to downtown Ottawa where we're gonna be taking some good old street photography. Let's take a photo of the Canadian flag, Kels, just because we're in Canada. And let the wind, there we go. Did we get it? Good enough, guys. It's gonna be a crap photo, but just so you, so that you guys know that we're in Canada. Now, let's see what we can find over here. It's been a hot minute since we've been in Ottawa, so we're gonna have to explore a little bit and do a little loop around here, go to the parliament area. Maybe see what's over here. <clears throat> and can we see anything over? No, because I don't let people on it apparently right now. Oh no, there's people. Let's see if we can get something through here. That's all right. Not too shabby. Looks, it looks cool with the little statue. So hard to do with gloves, I'm not gonna lie. Trying to find something good. Got to get those warm-up shots while we find something good around here to, to photograph. This is kind of cool, the, like the lighting and stuff like that. I was gonna try to take a photo of the door, but. It's all right, it's all right. I'm gonna take the video, a photo of the cops, I guess. Could it see from the side or what? We decided to tag along and follow these people that were going to a protest in support of Palestine. For me, my main purpose of this with the street photography was going to be documenting a little bit of history in the making, if you will, because this is something that has been going on for quite a while, just seeing people come together in support of the freedom of Palestine and their you know, citizens and trying to get you know, the ceasefire and everything. It just seemed great to document a lot of photos of just people you know, parading and and protesting and bringing their flags and their signs and everything to just document in a street photography style since that's what street photography is for me it's just more of a documentation of everyday people just doing things that matter to them or they're just wanting to do and for me the protests of you know the freedom of palestine and the ceasefire just seemed great to document since we were you know blessed with the opportunity to be able to stumble upon these people on their you know i guess in the vacation time because it is after the holidays and everything that people are in between you know kind of the holidays and everything. So it's something that I want to just document into with the street photography. I saw these people on the rooftop of this parking garage that just kind of was cool because they were just, you know, helping people chant. And I wanted to document just every little detail that I could for the little time that I was going to be part of the, you know, the scenery and the protests and everything like that to take some photos, just to document the people that are there in support, the people, you know, policing it and everything and just kind of documenting a little bit of every detail that I could find when it came down to shooting this protest in support of Palestine's freedom. 
But now it's time to go ahead and kind of keep walking around the city and just see what else we can find. And for us, we're just kind of walking around just to see if there's anything. And for the longest of time, we didn't really find much up until we got back into this little kind of canal river area that we were able to just kind of see parliament and just sections like that for more architectural type of street photos. But as well as this section right here that you're able to see some nice people just walking around, but the lights look really nice with the leading lines. So I thought it was a really good photo to kind of make but you gotta get the nice little parliament in the background as well since it looks rather nice from there Key. oh did i get it kind of i was taking like a photo of you taking a photo should be fine because uh, the lights are looking bouquet-licious. So it's kind of nice whenever I took a photo of you with your phone like that. Mm -hmm. You want to go down that way or you want to just go towards the parliament better? Huh? The what? Okay. Sorry. All right, let's get. What is written there? Huh? What? Taking a selfie. One of my biggest fan. Do the wide photo. Hit that. You want me to do it? That's fine. I was recording video, I was like, why is this recording video, but... And now we're heading into the inside of Parliament where we're going to be taking more photos of the architecture and other things, but we're just going to zoom our way over there as fast as possible with the magic of editing. Alright, well, we got some architecture, so might as well take some photos of the ghost. Not gonna be anything crazy because it's very overcast and cloudy, but I'm gonna be taking some photos of whatever we can find in the section, like the nice clock tower of Parliament. Bam. There we go. I have the eternal flame or something like that, right? Yeah. It's just like my eternal flame for you. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> of course. Not in my not in my only teaching you how to do photos guys, but also pick up lines 101 right here. Welcome to my class. To how to get ladies actually uh, Yeah, how to properly, you know, be good for your lady, not like Andrew fake. We don't like that. And the first people discovered fire that came to Canada apparently. Nothing of a crazy photo, guys, but we're gonna go up close and personal, I guess, since that's the only way to do it. Damn, they're still renovating the, 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 the ceilings of it, because I remember they were doing that whenever we came eight years ago yeah. or seven years ago. Yeah. Looks kind of cool. Close up of my face. Yeah. We'll take a portrait of you here. That way people know that you were here. One, two, three. Huh? I know. One, two, three. Oh, thank you. Appreciate it. Yeah. Look like I'm a 
Facebook mom right here taking a photo. <laughs> <laughs> it's all good. Sometimes you don't gotta take the, the best portraits. You just gotta say that you were here, guys. It's all about that, but... Hold on, let me take a photo. Because at, at the end of the day, this is street photography. You're trying to get some people in the street to get some photography. I'm gonna see if I can get a photo of something between the legs right here. Mm, it'll do, it'll do. Or maybe I can get the cop through it. Looks kinda cool. You want to stand over to the other side? I'll tell you where to stop, kind of style. Right there. And then kind of like you're looking, yeah, like that. One, two. One, two, three. There we go. There you go. There we go. Should be all right. Figure it out. So basically, that's a bit of the good old POV street photography here in Ottawa. Um, to be honest, in the winter time, it's always hard to take some photos because the gloominess but since we made it all the way over here I wanted to do a little bit of a quick POV style of video since I haven't done one in a while and using this bad boy is always nice and getting to see Parliament again after like eight seven years or so always nice to be able to do it and capture some photos got to experience obviously a protest here to capture it and you know it's always great to to see people voicing their their words and everything for the, the people that need it most sometimes. So, always great to just go ahead and take some photos and bring you guys along with me. So, appreciate you guys watching.